Hello, it's Jennifer Harding Marlin, an attorney that works at JH Marlin Law, a law firm in the Caribbean that specializes in citizenship by investment. Today's video is going to talk about the book Love It or Leave It, America Love It or Leave It, and So I Left by Adam Bilzerian. So I've been meaning to read this book for a very long time and I just got around to reading it recently in my limited free time. But I think it's a great book for people that follow this channel or for people that are interested in the topic of citizenship by investment because it details his, his journey towards acquiring a second citizenship through citizenship by investment and then going on to renounce his United States citizenship. So this book, uh, without getting into a lot of detail, I'll just talk briefly about the book. So Adam, someone who grew up in the United States, his father was a um, well-known corporate investor who spent some time in jail. He went on to go to school, university in the States, specializing in history. Um, he then sort of realized some of the shortcomings of living in the United States and being American. And he goes on to look into different citizenship by investment and residency by investment programs. He spent some time living in Canada and then goes to school in Australia where he went to business school. He became a poker player uh, really, and participated in poker tournaments all around the world internationally along with his brother. He acquired citizenship of St. Kitts and Nevis and details the process of renouncing his United States citizenship. And uh, some, some people would be interested to note, because um, I get this question a lot through from clients who go on to renounce their United States citizenship, about getting a visa to go return back to the States. So he outlines how it was detailed to him, how he should wait a period of at least a year, if not a little bit longer, before applying for a visa, and how he successfully obtained a multiple entry visa to return back to the States to visit friends and participate in poker tournaments around the world. So some of the topics that he talks about in his book, uh, which led him to make his decision to go on to renounce his United States citizenship, he talks about taxation, the political situation, criminal justice reform and criminal justice system, sentencing, education, wars. He talks about all the different top, all these different topics. He mentions how he doesn't, uh, he doesn't hate America. In fact, he loves America but he just thinks that the Constitution is not being upheld, like the ideals of the Constitution are not being upheld, and um, sort of the direction, he's not he's not uh, satisfied with the direction that the United States are going in. So for anyone who's interested in this topic and seeing the thought process of someone who goes on to obtain citizenship, um, similar to me, he's a citizen of St. Kitts and Nevis, and lives in St. Kitts while I spend a lot of my time in Nevis. And so for anyone who's interested in this book, uh, or has read this book, I'd be interested in learning your thoughts. Or if you've read a similar book, I'd be interested in learning your thoughts. And if you're interested in citizenship by investment, this is something that our firm can help you with. Uh, you can visit our website at jhmarlin.com or send me an email at jennifer at jhmarlin.com. All the best.